Father God, we truly thank you for the thank privilege. You. We thank, thank you. you for the honor. Yes, we thank yes. you for the opportunity to represent something greater than ourselves. Yes, and we bear witness this morning that the only thing greater than us is the God that dwells within. So, Father God, give us the necessary strength, fortitude, and stick to itness to be about our Father's business. We ask this in the name of the living God, to whom all praise is due. Amen. 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 All right. All right. To my young brothers, is you have to get away from this once upon a time story. And that means the story they have told you about you. It is your day, your moment to get into your truth, to recognize and realize that you don't have to deal with a fairy tale no more. You can deal with the God reality of self, that you are the greatest thing going on. And when you can recognize and realize that, you can change the condition, the situation, and the circumstances that you are having an encounter with. Because once you know yourself, and that's the greatest lesson you can learn, is man, know thyself. Know that they have a once upon a time story. When they tell you somebody discovered something where people were already there, that's some Alice in Wonderland stuff. But the reality is, you are the real reality. You are the architect. You are the designer and the engineer of civilization. You built the great institutions of learning. You built Timbuktu. When they were running around in that confusion, this strange and unusual animal that came with his story, it's called Once Upon a Time. It's more of a fairy tale than a reality. Your story is truth. Mm -hmm. And that's why they teach you, Good. truth crushed to the earth must mm -hmm. rise again. That's why they teach you, no lie can live forever. So when you understand who you are, the whole game that they are playing, playing on you will change. You'll stop loving things more than you love yourself. You'll stop wanting to be a pimp, being pimped by a Gucci or somebody else named Brand when you can understand that there's nothing outside you that can compare to the greatness that God has placed in you. This is your moment, brothers and sisters. It is your moment to recognize and realize that you have to come into the knowledge and the wisdom of self and stop dealing with this once upon a time story. I can't say that enough because it means they have given you a fairy tale when they teach you about the greatness of them, but never the greatness of yourself. When you are educated to believe that they have achieved great things and you have done nothing, you have been miseducated because you were the architect, you were the engineer, and you were the designer of the culture of faith. And they were the engineer and the designer of the culture of disbelief. That's why we're dealing in so much chaos, so much confusion, because they have a select few that are running around because they think they're pocket rich, that they control the resources of our creation. But don't put everything on something in your pocket when you have greatness in your heart. Recognize and realize who you are. The greatest man and the greatest woman that have ever walked the earth. Universal man and universal woman. You have to understand we've been educated. African Americans been educated for self-destructive behavior. Mm -hmm. We understand that if we go along with the program, the program is about bringing about the demise of us as a people at the hands of us. Their plan was to make us hate ourselves more than others hated us. Perfect plan. Look at the self-destructive behavior that we embrace day in and day out because we don't like who we are because of the material things that we don't have. We measure everything by what's in our pocket instead of what's in our heart. And under a system that believes material things are more important than human beings, self-destructive behavior is the norm. We're in a state of decline and decay and nobody wants to talk about it. We move God so far out of the equation that we scared of hell out of Satan. This is real. Even Satan says these are strange and unusual animals. And it's a condition that we have created so that life don't even look good no more. And death looks better than life to some of our young brothers and sisters because of how they see themselves. And in a system, which we call once upon a time,
make-believe. They give you this wonderland story and you chase the illusion and you get addicted to confusion. How do we resolve this problem? Just by giving our people the truth. Just by telling them the I amness of self. Just by telling them the oneness of self. Just by telling them the greatness of self. Just by telling them you are created in the likeness and image of your creator. Oh. And there's nothing greater than you but the God that dwells in you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knowing the history that we just discussed mm -hmm. and the things and the traps, mm -hmm. and traps are set up for those who don't know and you Ooh. can walk into it. But when you know a trap's in front of you and you walk into it, that shows a different type of mindset. Mm -hmm. So how do we, or pretty much what the ministers always say, why do we refuse to separate from a world that keeps setting us up with these traps? Mm -hmm. Why are we so comfortable with it? Wow. Because we've been conditioned to love the fantasy more than the reality. Mm -hmm. We have been programmed to believe that we are children and we are how to basically be obedient to our master. That's the servant to master concept. We don't understand that we have the necessary resources, the necessary talents and ability to be independent people. We want to constantly and consistently be validated by them, for them, and with them. We have integrated into association of a simulation. We want to be like, but not equal to. We want to believe that unless we are validated by the oppressor of self, we can't even be who we are. So we are looking for our identity in somebody else mm -hmm. and not in ourselves because we have been educated to believe in the greatness of them, but never in the greatness of us. When the minister talks about separating yourself, he's talking about independent thinking, independent ability to use your resources to build your community and not to get money and then give it back to your oppressor because you feel like the only way you can be validated is through the eyes of others and never through the eyes of self. Mm -hmm. So until we come into the truth about who we are, and that truth is that we are the greatest people that have ever walked this earth. When we come into the truth, we no longer feel obligated to validate them. We now can begin to validate ourselves. We go back to building pyramids. We go back to building great institutions. We go back to building institutions that we can come in, hospitals and balls and things that we can basically love ourselves for because we understand who we are. That's the concept of knowing the greatness in yourself and not loving other things more than you love you. You want to say something to that brother? Well, you know, that question you asked and stuff, you know, the, you know, just now, in reference to, yo, what do you do? You know, well, all the thing I can do is continue to basically tell them what they already know. You know, to, you know, and, and they can not, it's hard for them to not agree with what they know is right. Cause I call them, everybody that I work with, you know, they know us. Everybody know what not to do. Everybody knows what not to do. So I give them the statement that Dr. Naheem talks about in breaking the chains of psychological slavery. You know, I hit them with, how do you know what you know, but continue to operate like you know nothing? So religion has set our minds up to receive fantasy and to believe fantasy and therefore we live in a fantasy world yeah. we are busy no 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 i want you to listen night and day fantasizing yeah. but when we wake up we wake up to the harsh reality of the black man and woman's condition and we are weak and powerless to change the reality therefore we retreat more and more to fantasy when we go to church we go to be entertained yeah. We're not being taught. We're not being instructed. We're not being made wise yes. by the word of God that will enable us to overcome a world that is adver adverse to God, Go adverse to Jesus, mm -hmm. adverse to Muhammad, adverse to the prophets. We are victimized because of our religious teaching that keeps us in mental and spiritual chains. That will not allow us to deal effectively with the world. We're victims. In the name of Jesus.